Today I want to talk to you about self-love, except another spin on it because I want it to be authentic, hashtag authentic, and also valuable, something you can use. I'm going to tell you benefits of self-love, what that actually looks like, how you're going to do that, and a challenge. Let me start with the why. Well, why would you want to love yourself? If we look back at nature, we see that a lot of it is society's programming. Do you think that back in the cave stone age days, if you think of the Flintstones, Flintstones, do you think they had the question of how do I love myself? No, because they didn't have a system telling them why they were screwed up or what was wrong with them. They just lived. So keep that in mind. There's a tip number one. Number two, why is it useful? Well, in our modern age, there's so many messages we get of you're good enough, you're not good enough, you're amazing, you suck. Wow, you're smart, you're stupid, you're amazing, you're not. You're successful, you're rich, you're poor, whatever. Screw that all. Yeah, you can have those things. They're all titles. Again, society, society, society. Strip it all away. If you have none of it left, take away the car, the job, the marriage, the everything that you have, and what are you left with? You're left with you. So if you're going to be with you your whole life, I think most people are, then you might as well find it something that feels good and loving yourself no matter what. That is an excuse to say, oh, I love myself, so um, you can kiss my hand now. Loving yourself means, in real life, feeling good and doing what feels right for you and able to change and grow and still loving yourself. And what is yourself? Loving yourself. What is the self? What are we defining the self as? How many people are asking that when they say love yourself? There are many videos. And I haven't seen anyone reminding ourselves if that question is loving yourself. If we're going to love ourself, what is ourself? Is it my mind, my thoughts, my emotions? Fine, it's loving all of it. The good, the bad, the ugly, and the nondescript word. And going, yep, love that, love that, love that, and I love that I'm even more the spark that is me. And connecting to that place, that is the key to self-love. But here are some wonderful questions I got from 7 Day Self-Love Challenge. I got it from this meditation group I've been going to recently for the last month. Really loved it. It's called Radiate Happy lovely woman named Cassidy shared with me this self-love challenge. There are some awesome questions and here I'm going to read them to you and I'll tell you the ones that really stood out to me at the end and some of my answers. I'd love to hear some of yours. Here are some questions to first ask yourself. I would really recommend you journal it. Put it in some kind of journal or paper. Put it pen to paper because you're not just speaking it or thinking it but writing it. it it's I'll talk about the magic at that beginning. But here are the questions, you ready? Write down at least five things you're grateful for or things that you've accomplished. You've thought, acted upon, felt, experienced, or things you embody. If you feel an area where self-love is lacking, such as your body image, try to include as many body gratitudes as you can. Like, my eyes are friggin' sexy. I have really nice elbows. <laughs> Whoever says that one. Yeah. Name some imperfections you have which give you your unique quirkiness. What qualities do you love about yourself? Quality, not quantity. What qualities do you love about yourself? This one I found interesting. In what ways can you be more accepting of yourself? How can you increase your acceptance of others? What's on your to-do list that doesn't need to be? Love that one. What qualities and talents come effortlessly to you? What do people most often admire you for or compliment you on? How would your best friend describe you? And if you don't have a best friend, you can make it up. What struggle have you most recently faced? What life lesson or insight might lie within? How did someone change your day for the better? Love that question. And love this one too. How can you change someone else's day for the better? What accomplishments are you most proud of right now? And finally, the best one, what do you love most about yourself? I think you should start with those questions first and you might find that it takes some time to go deep with it. I really encourage you to go deep, 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 down, down, down. Past the walls, past the uncomfortableness, past the joy, even that. Just go, what do I really think? What do I really feel? You might be surprised at the answer and I'll give you one of my examples. What do you love most about yourself? 
my answer kind of surprised me was my intuition and when I trust my intuition and go with it and share it with myself and share it with others too but mainly also for myself and I follow it and listen to it and honor it and that is what I love most about myself. I'll share with you the seven day challenge. I'll let you have a look at it. I've circled ones. Here it is. I'll hold it up for a few seconds so you can pause it. Take a look. If you can't read it, I'm going to read it to you for you. Day one, journal prompt. What do you think about you? What do you think about you? Not me, you. Then get outside and connect. Connect with yourself, connect with nature. Just get outside and connect. Day two, journal prompt. What are you feeling right now? I suggest you do that personally for getting the most treasure inside yourself is when you're having even the most challenging times. Do you find that your mind is more hectic in the morning or the evening? Then do it at that time, whatever time that is, and go deeper and then you'll be able to really look at it and see it. And the task is do one thing that makes you feel good. Easy, isn't it? One thing. Day three, journal prompt. Five things you're grateful for. Five things. Your task, commit an act of kindness. Day four, journal prompt. What are you having a hard time accepting? I found this one really interesting. Out of all the days, this one was the most thought provoking. What are you having a hard time accepting? So think about it, write it down, write it out. The task, look in the mirror and say, I love you, I love you. But try not to use the humor like I am right now. Try and mean it and say it. And sometimes we use humor as a wall. Really mean it. Go, I love you, I love you. Whatever <laughs> way you want to do it. Don't scare me though. Day five. Journal prompt. Write yourself a love letter. You can make it juicy. You can make it PG or you can make it rated R. But write yourself a love letter. Like, god damn, you're amazing. God damn, did you know that you're really sexy and really smart? You turn me on. <laughs> I don't know. And your task is three minute meditation. That's it, just three minutes. Set a timer. You can use music if you want. You don't have to use it. Three minutes. That's easy. Day six. Talk yourself through a struggle. Imagine you're, t you're talking to a friend and you're giving them advice. Well, do it to you. Talk yourself through a struggle. And your task for that day, support others. Whether it's a kind word, a gesture you do for them, have fun with it. And the last day, day seven, is this day that I'm sharing right now. How can you create space for self-love? And I say that again. How can you create space for self-love? And the task is make a declaration on social media. And that's what I'm doing right now. I wrote in the book, it's one thing to speak it out loud and do that. Definitely in the mirror, mirror work is awesome. But writing it just makes it that much more real and it's another thing to reinforce it. There are so many ways that we can create space for self-love. I've heard many of them, like whether that's taking good care of your body, that could be self-love. Whether it's going to exercise or listening to songs that make you feel like you're over the moon. There are many ways for you to love yourself, but how many of them also are practical and that we do consistently? And that's why writing makes it useful. And if you think it doesn't, I'll give you an example of affirmations is you need with all these things, use your feeling, go and reach deep down, feel, make it authentic and intense even if you don't feel it, you really you you just gotta feel it just try just really try and if you don't that's still fine but write it out there is a i did some research from different tasks for creating a space for self-love and the one i liked the best was one from ilana i hope all right ilana i'm saying her name completely wrong right now apologize i will put a link to it down below where it's just a two to three minute video. I believe it's on Oprah's YouTube channel. Um, anyway, she talks about self-love and value and the value of yourself. And the task is this, and I'm making a declaration out loud to yourself right now. This is a really big one. I've never done a challenge this long. You ready? You with me? 40 days of writing 
40 I am statements that affirm who you are. And you have to say it in the present tense. So example, she says, you don't say I am loving, you say I am love. Don't say I am powerful, I am power. I am power. One of mine I'll share, I'm working on is meditation. As I told you, I'm going to this group, meditation. So how about I am meditation? I am meditation. You write down 40 things. What was interesting when I tried it today for the first time is when I got near the end, I kind of felt empowered, but actually really calm and my mind became clear because there were so many things. It's like, wow, what else do I want to be? What else do I want to be? And I claim it. And it'll be interesting to see in 40 days from now. Interestingly, 40 days from now, it's going to be Friday the 13th. <gasps> Unlucky, lucky, you decide. 40 days. And if you skip a day, you've got to start over. Yes, you got to start over. Now, here's my tips for the writing and why the writing makes it real. The writing is important because with affirmation, saying them out loud, yeah, that's wonderful, yes, but believing it, writing makes a huge difference. And I almost forgot I had stopped writing affirmations for, I haven't done it in a long time, but a lot of the ones I now believe and I have within myself is because I did take time to do it. I wrote it out like 10 times. And if you think that I'm just saying it, I'm going to tell you off the top of my head right now, this is unrehearsed. Here we go. I'll do some on abundance. Let's see. I'm a man of divine prosperity. Golden opportunities are everywhere for me. Riches of every sort are drawn to me. There's plenty for everyone, including me. I am open and willing to receive massive amounts of money into my life. I deserve the best and I accept the best now. I'm deeply fulfilled by all that I do. If I ask any question, I'll always receive an answer. I am confident. Money comes to me quickly and easily for the highest good of all concerned. There are so many others I have, such as I now went to the winning circle. Like, but do you see how easy that just came from my mouth? It was not that way. If you had talked to me a year and a half to two years ago, no, it wasn't. And it had me saying them regularly. Yeah. Writing it down, writing it down, writing it down, making it from here. And you're seeing it in front of your eyes. You're creating it. You're going, yes, over and over. What does self-love look like to you? Do you want to share down below what it is? Do you want to do the challenge with me? Self-love starts with an attitude of gratitude. That's another big thing, is being grateful for who you are, regardless of what anyone tells you, you who you are or what you are. And with that, I'm going to wish you lots of self-love in your journey, defining the self, being fluid in what, how we even define ourselves.